Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from danstube.tv. And if you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest reviews on the channel. In today's video, we are comparing two titans in the Mavic Mini following space. We're testing out Lychee and Dronelink, and we're comparing the two following modes and seeing which one's better. So I devised this little fun test here where I'll be testing them at three different ranges and heights. So it's gonna be the first one, 20 meters high, 20 meters distance. The second one, 40 meters distance, 40 meters height. And then the final test is 60 meters height and 60 meters distance. I will be testing both Lychee and Drone Link at these three conditions. And just remember Drone Link is still in the beta form while Lychee is in the public release now of the follow mode for the Mavic Mini. So it was really interesting to see because I feel like they both did an amazing job and they handled really well. But when it came to the first test, which was the 20 meters height by 20 meters distance, I noticed that initially Drone Link was doing a better job at actually recognizing the distance. So as you can see in the footage here, Lychee for some reason, it was really good at holding its altitude. It knew that it was at 20 meters, but the distance from the controller, it seemed to really struggle with that. I don't know whether that was a bug or some sort of issue with the signal, but you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, the algorithm is actually really struggling obviously to keep up with a moving subject. But at times the distance between the controller Control and the drone itself was being recognized as up to 60 meters away, where it definitely wasn't 60 meters away. So hopefully that was just a reading that was off. It actually wasn't having issues with recognizing how far the controller was away from the drone, but that was something that didn't happen at all with Drone Link. And I was hardwiring in the distance and height through the Lychee app as well. So it should have been set at 20 meters distance and 20 meters height, where using the Drone Link application, I just moved the drone to 20 meters by 20 meters. And it did a really good job, Drone Link did, of holding that position and recognizing exactly that it was 20 meters away. So I don't know whether the algorithm is more efficient, whether the, the coding behind it is a lot more polished on drone links end um, I don't know what's happening here but they both actually did a pretty good job at 20 meters by 20 meters overall there was no real issues it still has this kind of pulsing movement I describe it as where it kind of it pulses to the left slightly and it will kind of shuffle to the right it, it doesn't almost have natural movements all the time um, and still this is relatively early in the development phases so that does make sense why that would be happening um, but both of them have kind of experienced that i think drone link was probably the more reliable at 20 by 20 um, but they both were pretty awesome overall at, at actually following a subject. Moving on to the 40 meters height by 40 meters distance test, it was a very similar story again. They both handled it really well and again a few odd movements here and there but overall it kept the subject in the middle or the, the controller as such, that's the signal it's receiving, it kept the subject in the middle of the frame and it did a really good job for the most part besides a few awkward movements of actually following me which was fantastic. Again Lychee kind of did that weird thing where it thought the distance between the controller and the drone was more than it actually was and I set it again in the settings to 40 meters by 40 meters but at times the distance was up to 90 meters it just had no idea what was going on. Drone Link again did a great job of recognizing it was 40 meters by 40 meters it kept very close to those markings that I set it at and just in terms of the readings it was a lot more reliable but in terms of a kind of line of sight and visual I could see that the drones were basically the same distance so I could see that it was definitely 40 meters by 40 meters when I was even testing Lychee. I think the reading was just slightly off for whatever reason. Obviously that could be something to do with the coding. Um, but then, you know, overall the experience again was great at 40 by 40. It was super reliable and uh, super consistent from both of them. So I think it's getting to that point now where these are actually viable options for people who want a following mode for their drone. Unfortunately, Drone Link's version is still in beta, so you can only really use the Lychee public release unless you get the beta version of Drone Link. Um, so that's kind of a, a factor that you need to weigh in on depending on which one you actually want to pick up. And then when it came to the final test, which was the 60 meters distance by 60 meters height, again, very similar story. The Lychee reading was slightly off again, and I think they both performed really well. I would have to say though that Lychee seemed to slightly have the edge for me when it came to the 60 meter by 60 meter. It was just slightly smoother, and also the framing of 
the, the subject matter or the controller was slightly better where I noticed that drone link was slightly off center when it came to the 40 meter test and the 60 meter test. Um, there are obviously more settings that we can play with and uh, we can improve that. But this was just based on kind of a stock standard send them up, put them at the right height and distance, and then see how it follows, just to get a true test, I guess, of how the algorithm works and how the software works with your drone. Uh, so I think Lychee slightly had the edge here when it came to the 60 meter and maybe even the 40 meter test, but I think Drone Link was probably the more reliable overall, like with movements overall. I think even though Lychee was a little bit smoother near the end there, I think the overall experience with Drone Link was probably slightly smoother overall and when it did have those awkward movements they were a little bit more natural in my opinion so again very small nuances and differences between the two software here i think they're both amazing and they both have something fantastic to offer mavic mini pilots and and some other drone pilots out there that want to pick up the software uh, but this test was done with the mavic mini to really see which one is worth your money uh, let me know in the comments though, which one are you going to pick up? Which one do you already own? Are you going to buy both of them maybe? Who knows? Maybe it's worth having both of them. I think they're both phenomenal and I think anyone who picks up Drone Link or Lychee will be happy with the overall experience. So I think it's a win-win regardless of what you choose to pick up. So that's it guys. Uh, have you got any other ideas of tests? of other videos that you'd like to see between these two software here or other uh, videos on different drones or gadgets or whatever else, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we can track up a conversation and figure out where to go from there. That's it though. Make sure to have a fantastic day guys. Chat to you very soon and peace out.